Okay, so imagine the Tesla Cybertruck or any other electric vehicle that has an onboard hydrogen generating system along with the hydrogen fuel cell to provide copious amounts of perpetual driving power. And then a corresponding system at home, a hydrogen fuel cell that can operate your household too. So this movie uh, with Morgan Freeman touched on it. Could be interested in this technology. A secret for what the rest of the world would kill for. How about that? So here's uh, an example of the, What's the first hydrogen thing fuel cell. I'm gonna, gonna need to mute that for a, a minute. So actually hydrogen can be extracted from water and uh, oxygen as well. This right here is uh, a channel that made an HHO converter and it's on my playlist. You can see it. I've got a, a lot of fascinating content that is on my channel. You can see how that generates so much hydroxygen and then you just feed that into your uh, hydrogen fuel cell. And this, uh, this gentleman made this in, in a relatively short amount of time. Okay, so there's that. And what I wanted to talk about is the capacity that we have to basically power the, the water, or I should say all of our electrical needs with, um, with water. And I wanted to get this out now because it's a, it's a very dangerous proposition to entirely operate your household and transportation with water. And that's what I'm talking about. So whether it's a cyber truck or any other vehicle that you want to operate, uh, electric works best. I, I do have videos that show how Stanley Meyer had developed the water car. That was actually pretty old technology, although the, the process of shattering the bond between oxygen and hydrogen was still extremely uh, valuable. And then, on, for example, I'm gonna go to show you the uh, hydrogen fuel cell on this particular uh, video. Okay, so this is the Toyota, and one of the challenges with these is they need to fuel these, like this tank up at a fueling station. Well, if you've got the onboard uh, hydroxygen generator, you can just put it right into your fuel cell there, and then that could power the house. You could have a combination of a small battery supply on the vehicle, so you can harvest the regenerative braking like the Teslas do as well as uh, having the electrical propulsion that goes along with an electric vehicle. So there you go. Tesla has done a spectacular job. Right now they're having a hard time meeting the demands because of battery creation. Well imagine if the battery were smaller and you just use a, uh, a little bit of water to propel your vehicle with hydroxygen being fed into the hydrogen fuel cell. I've got a friend who currently powers his house right now with a 5 kilowatt hydrogen fuel cell that he put together. He's been doing it for a decade. So when people say you can't get more energy out than you put in, Think of uh, coal harvesting or petroleum harvesting. You put a little bit of uh, diesel and sweat equity to get the, the oil out of the ground or the coal out of the ground, and there you go. You get a lot to, to work with. So there's uh, enough, enough water, enough energy in that glass right there to provide power for quite some time. This is Robert Forsch with the YouTube channel Truth. Feel free to reach out anytime you like. Thank you.